Hey guys, today we are going to talk about how much Magic the Gathering hates its own player base, and it can be summarized by this tweet. This is the official Magic Esports Twitter, Twitter handle, and it's been growing because Esports and MTG Arena has been growing. So this is not a fake profile. They did eventually delete the tweet, which is always important. If you see something that's kind of suspect, screenshot it and then send it to me because Wizard of Coast will eventually catch on and they catch on pretty quickly now. I think this tweet got deleted within this hour and Jeff Hoogland, who you might remember as the black sheep of Magic the Gathering Arena, he screenshotted it and this is where it came from. So you're in the DMs complaining about Tamara Reclamation. I'm in the feature match smashing face with mono black aggro. We are not the same. Which would be correct, except Tamara Reclamation basically hosed Mono Black Aggro. So if you don't know about uh, what's happening in Standard now because of COVID, Reclamation is by far, in a way, the best deck. Uh, there's no chance against it. And the deck that is made to beat it, the Mono Black Aggro deck, uh, just doesn't have a hope. And in the finals, you saw Mo Mono Black Aggro versus Reclamation. Reclamation smash face at 2-0. And that's assuming, you know, and Mono Black got to go first. So it's like, okay, what is going on here? Reclamation is just too powerful. And they should have banned it. They didn't ban it, and that was a mistake. So they were really proud that there was this mono black deck that was able to compete. Here you have Jessica Epsven, who is, I believe she's still part of the MPL. You're tweeting on main complaining about Wilderness Reclamation, the person in the future match smashed face with Wilderness Reclamation. We are not the same, it should be banned. So even a basic introduction player like Jessica can understand that Reclamation is too good. If you've ever played it against MTG Arena, the only deck that I've seen able to beat it, and this is if you're on the play, is Mono Red. Just because Mono Red basically beats almost anything on the play. Other than that, Reclamation is just a behemoth of like a deck. Like You cannot beat this deck. This reminds me of Modern, uh, when there was Aldrazi Winter, and it was just the most painful games to play. Like, it's so painful. The card is absolutely broken. So, is Reclamation season over? Or, so I can watch with interest again? Nope. Imagine making a tweet with a meme saying how people can beat Reclamation if they want to, then two hours later posting how the deck created to beat Reclamation lost two matches in a row to it. So they posted this very anti-Magic player. So you know Magic players are going to want to play the deck that wins the most. That's just, even if that deck is very not fun. If you've ever played Reclamation against Reclamation, it is incredibly annoying. But nonetheless, you know, Magic, they took the feedback, they were embarrassed, they should have banned the card, they realized it. What do they do? Do they say, hey, we're sorry, we should have banned the card. Hey, we made a mistake. The companions were too powerful. Hey, we made a mistake. Oka was too good. No, what they do is they blame the player base. Oh, it was the player base. They weren't creative enough to design a deck to beat it. Uh, this is some good content right now. Guess it's time to admit mistakes and ban all the broken and unhealthy cards at once. 10 plus cards. I would argue it's like 7 right now. Instead of banning single cards and see the format being taken over by the next best deck. It is, it's also not only standard. 2019-2020 cards have had a bad impact on all formats, which I would agree. I mean, Oko, Companions, Summer Veil, vale, Once Upon a Time. I would honestly say Once Upon a Time is probably the most broken of the bunch. Most people don't realize this, but when you have free mechanics like and that's what once upon time is in its context uh that's like really good when, when you don't have to pay mana to do something 
that's incredibly powerful. Um, no matter what type of restrictions you put on it. This PT was boring. Same damn deck over and over again, which was Reclamation. Black player draws one card a turn, while four color Reclamation draws ten. Sweet. So a lot of people, so like, let's imagine that we're a company and people are complaining, we're a bakery shop and people are complaining about our cupcakes. So what do we do? Do we make better cupcakes? Do we stop making or we use the a sweetener that people don't like? No. What we're going to do is we're going to go on social media and blast our customers. Because they're so dumb that they'll continue to buy the product regardless of what we say to them. So if you don't believe this is happening, I mean, take a look at this. It should be pretty obvious to you that Magic the Gathering, Magic the Gathering will, they do not like their player base. And when their player base complains, and let's say the player base is correct on Reclamation being too powerful of a deck, and I would argue, yeah, I mean, I think, it is too powerful of a deck. It's it's pretty obvious when it's smashing every other deck and the only deck that you can go against it is Reclamation itself. Um, why would the players not have the right to complain? I mean, you have some of your former or current MPL members. They're complaining and they're becoming very vocal about this. Jeff Hoogland was the reason, you know, someone sent me his tweet and I read it. And I said, oh, wow. So can we finally have a truthful discussion on the creation of car power levels and actual play testing balancing? Yeah, I want to know what's going on here. Um, we banned, well, we basically banned companions. We powered them down significantly so they're not relevant, as relevant anymore or relevant at all. Uh, and no one play tested them and thought, hmm, this seems pretty good. No one play tested Reclamation. No one play tested Oko. No one play tested Once Upon a Time. Like Once Upon a Time is one of these things where I look at the card and I say, huh, there's no way this gets past playing design. Because playing design, they should know by now, no matter how quote minimal, how many restrictions you put on a card, if it costs no, if there's a way that p players can pay no mana to use it, it's going to be played heavily. It's going to be really abusive. So I don't really know what's going on. Do they have a research and design team? I and mean, they listed like 25 people, right? They have like 25 people there and then they have play and design, which is another 20 people. Like what are these people's jobs? Are they just being paid to do nothing? Like are these all wedges? Did they hire like 25 wedges in this one department and 20 wedges in this other department? They just sit around and eat cheesecake and hamburgers? I, I don't understand how no one catches this. And then when you do catch it and you do say, hey, you know what? We got a problem. Let's have an honest discussion. Well, look at what Wizard Coast did. This is, I mean, it, it took me back because I had to verify, is this a real? So they deleted their tweet. Um, they deleted their tweet almost immediately, and I wanted to know if it was real because it seemed really anti-player. So if the players are complaining that this one deck is just too powerful, then Wizard of Coast comes out and says, hey, you players suck. You suck. You could play this other deck. And then the other deck gets trampled over <laughs> the Reclamation deck that the players are complaining about an hour or two later. And then anyone with a negative comment, uh, just remember everyone, rather than deal with Wizard of Coast joking about their mistakes and not fix I mean, they could have joked about it, right? But no, they've went angry at their player base and not fixing them. You could instead go play a game where the company actually knows how to manage their game. And that's the core problem of Magic the Gathering today. And that's why I don't want to invest anymore. I don't, I really want to get out of this game. I'm just trying to, I've given away a large chunk of my collection to my friends. Uh, my friend's not keeping it. He's going to sell it and then we'll split the process or the proceeds later. 
Um, so basically I'm hiring him to sell my cards for me. It's kind of a slower process because we're trying to get more value. And honestly, the dual lands are, they continue to climb. So it's not like we're, any, we're in a panic sell state. But um, let me just be very clear about this. Holy blank, I've never seen a company like Wizard of the Coast come after, you know, Jeremy on Sleeve Media. This is an individual, this is a heavy buyer. This is like a way over customer. I've never seen them come off their whole player group, which is everyone on Twitter complaining about reclamation. These employees, and I'm going to show you the last slide, which will summarize my argument pretty well. They are really angry at Magic players. And they don't want to listen to complaints. They don't want to listen to, I mean, I don't know. I always thought that there was something called customer service. And if the customer has a complaint, you listen to the complaint, you send it up, and then you deal with it. I don't know why they're attacking the people complaining when their complaint is valid. And our good boy, Lee Sharp, imagine thinking the women you see are doing nothing but going around trying to trick you into being attracted to them so they can get something from you instead of the truth that they are human just trying to exist. If you follow this guy, like just random times, he'll say something that I, I, I will read and I have to reread it and say, whoa, like this couldn't possibly be coming from a Magic the Gathering employee. And this is just one of them. There's like thousands of these employees with the official Twitter handle. And then I don't know what's going on. The solution is to clean house. Clean house. Hi guys.